I never use the colorless blender to make gradients. However, it can be a useful tool if you are missing some markers. The best way to use it is to lay it down on the paper before you use your markers. This is going to prime your paper for a better blend. The downside, however, is you must work extremely quick. Like I said before, alcohol markers dry very quickly. And to make the most of this method, you are going to have to lay down those markers while that colors blender is still wet. You can use the blender on top of your markers, but I find it creates a halo type effect, so I prefer not to do it this way. However, as you can see, it does create a better gradient than just using the markers alone when you only have three. But I still believe that more markers is better because you're actually using less ink and less bleed spread. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for some more tips.